Hi guys, I am here with Sophie, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, and today we're going to talk about carding a flat coat. Uh, dogs with a flat coat typically have these longer, softer furnishings, and then they also have this shorter hair on the back. Um, flat coats do shed quite a bit, as you can see. Um, and if you do not card the coat, if you do not remove out the undercoat, then what happens is the hair becomes soft and it flips up and it curls rather than lying flat. So we're going to get that done. But first I'm going to go put up my dog because he is barking. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys. Watch out. Come here, buddies. That's a good boy. I know. You're all excited. Just one moment. I know, I know, I know, I know. Behave. In you go. All right, come here, boobies. That's a good girl. That's it. Good girl. All right, so these are the tools that we're going to use. We're going to use a slick and easy horse grooming block, an Artero fine tooth rake, an Artero regular rake, and a carding knife. So I'm going to start with the Artero regular rake. Zoom you in a little bit closer here. All right. And the reason for the staggering of the tools is there'll be less drag and pull on the coat. So to card the coat or remove undercoat, Hold the skin taut and lightly drag the tool through the coat. There's going to be a lot less drag if you start off using a wider tooth tool. So here you can see the amount of coat coming out. This type of tool will not cut the hair if you stay in the, um, the direction that the coat grows. If you go across it with this type of tool, you might cut hair. And the idea is to not cut the hair, but to physically remove it. And you want to physically remove it because it empties out that follicle of that hair and allows um, room for the new, darker, harder colored coat to grow through. And if you just leave it there, it tends to plug that follicle and it um, inhibits the growth of the harder, coarser hair and you end up with an overabundance of the soft hair. When I am doing a cavalier, I go right down into the thigh muscle or a cocker or um, just about any of these dogs. You don't want like a line here. You want to show off the natural attributes of the dog. I do know she has a wart in here, so right there. So I'm going to stay away from the wart. She is a senior dog. So here they have a lot of loose skin. So I'm not scruffing her. I am keeping the skin taut by grabbing a whole handful of hair. I mean, not hair, skin. It's very gentle, it's very soft. This is not scruffing. Scruffing would be more if you have a dog who's thrashing and fighting you and you grab it by the, the scruff here to keep it from attacking you, that's different. A lot of people are very against scruffing these days. All right, so that's how much I've got out just on one side of the dog. So we're just going to do the one side for this demonstration. 
Now I'm going to the finer tooth, artero rake, again holding the skin taut. We're going to go back with this rake and you can see the wider tooth rake broke through the coat, got that much out. Now the finer tooth rake is going that much deeper and getting more. This is what gives you a nice rich color to the dog's coat. It's what gives you a nice flat coat. And the secret to this process being comfortable is holding the skin taut. Coming right down into the shoulder. Really want to show off these nice lines that this dog has. So, when you get done with these two tools, you can move on to your carding knife. Your carding knife should be held at a 45 degree angle. I apply pressure at the top of the knife. Be sure to hold the skin taut, and you can drag through the coat and get the next layer. Be sure to stay within the growth pattern of the coat at all times. Good girl. You can see I'm getting more and this is just on one side of the dog. I'm not even doing the whole dog. I'm just doing little to give you a demonstration of how this is done. Many pet parents get confused when they see this and they think you can do this on any coat type. This is for flat coats. You can do this on a golden retriever, a cocker spaniel, a springer spaniel, a welsh springer spaniel, a cavalier. You can even do it on, say, a long-haired chihuahua. <laughs> so now we're getting to the point where very little hair is coming out. When you get to that point, you stop feeling a drag in the coat. Don't continue on because then you will um, you will start to scrape skin. So you basically, as soon as you start feeling the tool glide through the coat without a lot of hair coming out, stop. So then as you get towards the end, and I'll do this part after the bath, the stripping knife and the stone after the bath as well. This is before the bath because... Um, the bath is going to loosen up some coat. So then when you get towards the end, and you should get this whole neck area too where it's flipping up, then you can start dragging this through the coat. What this does on this coat type is it pulls out the long hard hairs. So this is the soft undercoat. These are the coarser guard hairs that are loose and shedding. And this stone has different, um, different, oh, what would you say, effects on different coat types. And the flat coat type, it's going to get the hard hair. All right, so I hope that helps you to understand the carding and the carding tools and the purpose of the carding. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye.